Hi, it's Chuck and Ben from our Italian adventures. And today we're going to go learn how to make cheese in Italy. Hi, we are Chuck and Ben, and we are exploring all that Italy has to offer. So please subscribe and welcome to our channel, Our Italian Adventures. Well, we're off to Cousin Frank's house now to take us to the dairy farm to get the milk to make cheese. The drive to the dairy farm took us up some beautiful country roads. It was really nice to be out and about on such a nice morning after so many days of rain. We were anxious to see the cows and get started, but first we needed to have a coffee. The dairy farm has 18 cows for milking. The dairy farmer had told us that the best cheese comes from the milk of a cow that just had a calf. So we purchased 40 liters of milk. First step is to strain the milk to make sure it's clean. We heat up the milk to 38 degrees Celsius, which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we measure out the remnants to add to the milk. We use one teaspoon of rennet for every 10 liters of milk, and rennet is used to separate milk into solid curds and liquid whey. The curd is then scored and broken up into little pieces.
Once the curd is broken up, let it rest for 15 minutes. Bring the temperature back up to 45 degrees Celsius, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Collect the curd, squeeze out some of the water and press into baskets. For the first hour, every 15 minutes, turn the cheese upside down, press it into the baskets until it holds its shape. Bring the remaining liquid to 82 degrees centigrade, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Add approximately six tablespoons of salt and a small cup of vinegar. Lower the flame and bring it to a gentle boil. As soon as you see the first puff, the regatta is done. Okay. See, puff. Puff. Now regatta is ready. Skim off the top layer into the basket, and there's your fresh ricotta. Mmm, so good. Once the cheese has taken its shape, you put it back into the remaining liquid for a few minutes to help it solidify.
Next, put the cheese in a steam bath, cover it, and let it completely cool. Okay. Once the cheese is completely cooled, submerge it in a salt water bath and cover. Now the cheese is completely done. Enjoy. Very good. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think.